Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Friday, the 1st of June. And as usual on a Friday, I'm going to look at a longer term swing off the weekly time frame. Very briefly in our members area here, our members can log in and look for long potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades, stochastic long trades and stochastic short trades. So we're going to be looking for a long today and uh, on the fifth wave trade and they get potential weekly daily and 60 minute time frame trades every day and they get to download the spreadsheet here let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today so this is the spreadsheet for today this is the potential weekly uh, long fifth wave trades on the weekly time frame we have the daily here at the bottom 60 minute so let's go back to the weekly and have a look at the chart and see which one we're going to set up for this potential long-term swing trade so I've chosen FAF on the weekly I'm going to zoom out quite a long way here on this chart this is the Elliott wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com for the ninja trader NT8 platform we do also have it available for thinkorswim trade station and multi charts if we zoom right back out here, we can see we've already had um, a really good on the weekly time frame here, a really good um, fifth wave move. We've pulled back, we've been corrective, and now we're in a good longer term, really strong bullish move on the weekly. And we've pulled back against there into our pullback zones here. So let's just zoom in now and take a closer look. So first of all, the filters on our stock signals membership are very, very basic. There's a lot of raw data there. These are potential fifth wave trades, the highest probability move in a Elliott wave sequence for a trending stock. So here you can see the 535 oscillator, this subchart here, has pulled back between 90 and 140%, which is a really good sign. Also, our stochastic has pulled back against a really strong bullish trend denoted by our false breakout dots in yellow here in the overbought zone and we can see the stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone now and heading back up and then finally the wave 4 pullback has found support in the red zone here so this is a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 eye into our automated target zones up here in blue around about sixty six dollars so really really good looking potential trade yes this week is uh, a red week for this but as long as it doesn't break this previous wave four and we find a higher support level the entry that we're going to discuss now is still going to be good so the entry for this is fifty six twelve so for next week's bar position this is going to be outside the 6-4 moving average high which is part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite here and part of our conservative entry strategy so this green 6 moving up 6-4 moving average high here 5612 is the entry the stop loss is below the wave 4 low here around about 50 72 something like that but that gives us a great risk to reward into the target zone there of one to two so we can we can allow this to happen this is a longer term swing remember we just need to see this um, higher support level form and it to go higher again if we do get a slightly lower wave for in the coming weeks we can just adjust the stop loss and the entry until that support is found so this could take a few weeks to trigger but I just want to start doing these a uh, longer term swing trading opportunities on a Friday just to start building your watch list up for your potential uh, portfolio there so that's it for today have a great trading day and a great weekend and I'll speak to you all on Monday